The black bear is coming out of hibernation. That means that it sleeps all winter to save energy, and now it is eager for a long overdue breakfast. The cubs were born two months before the black bear finished its hibernation. But the mother does not start to look after the young until she emerges from her long sleep. Bears are often seen scratching themselves this time of year in order to get rid of any excess fur now that the weather is getting milder. The cubs are very active and will happily play on their own but there is always an invisible string tying the cubs and the mother together and if this string is crossed by man or animal the black bear can become quite dangerous. It is always looking out for dangers that might threaten the cubs. The forest here is also the home of an unusually large number of mountain lions. The deep forest used to be the natural habitat for these shy cats. But as little undisturbed forest is now left, they are more often found in dry mountain country. All species are protected on the Olympic Peninsula, so the lioness can rear her cubs without fear of man. These lion cubs have a far better chance of survival here than anywhere else. Despite its name, the mountain goat is in fact a high altitude antelope that grazes on the very highest slopes, well away from its enemy, the mountain lion. The mountain goat is an extremely good climber with a well-developed sense of balance which makes it ideally equipped to live in this dangerous environment. The lemming, a small rodent not much bigger than a tennis ball, is now out in the open after more than six months underground. It is a very quick mover, which is rather fortunate as it is the favorite prey for many predators. The fact is that the success and survival of many animals of this region is dependent on the success of the lemming.